Hey Libra, Sun, Moon, Arise, and welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today we're going to delve into the next 48 hours from you viewing this video. What to expect? Remember that this could play out past, present, or future. Take it how it resonates if it resonates for you. It is a timeless reading, so when you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you, okay? Uh, you can always check out my playlist for additional collective reads. And I do have personals available. Um, link down below in the description box. You will only ever book a personal with me through my website, okay? All that's down below in the description box. I want to thank you so very much for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings, and purchases of my Oracle cards. It's greatly appreciated, okay? It uh, goes back into the channel. So, next 48 hours for Libra. Okay, Libra. So, you got a few things jumping out. First thing is red flags. In the next 48 hours, you can expect to have some red flags pop up in your energy. Mm. And it's actually the return of someone. Okay, it looks like um, the, they thought the grass was greener on the other side, but it was artificial. So, there's the energy here. Where you're seeing a red flag already come up. And it's like you're seeing this in someone that returns to your life. Fancy living. Someone's used to living a good life. Smoker. So this could be a smoker. Someone that is used to um, living a fancy lifestyle. Mm, I see black magic. Someone's doing black magic. And luck. Your luck is about to change. Why are you so obsessed with me? Damn, Libra, what you got going on? I feel like this is you living this fancy lifestyle, you know, um, looking good, smelling good, that empress energy, right? I'm really getting nine of pentacles, though. I'm getting that you're single currently. Smash that like button if that's you. And it's like, um, whether you have children or not, I see you just really tending to yourself, your needs, your family's needs, you know, and this person pops back up in your life in the next 48 hours and you it's like you can see right through them and you see like they don't like the choice that they made self-judgment this person could have made you question things about yourself prior to you healing that's another characteristic of this person right but now this person is judging their self look temperamental this is somebody that their temperament, they're just going ape shit right now in the next 48 hours because they don't like the decision that they've made. And more importantly, this person, it's given high priestess energy because it's like, you know, more than what you're even saying. Okay. And it's like, they're feeling it. Hmm. I cry for help. You don't say. I'm hearing that Nicki Minaj sound on TikTok. And they're like, um... The person shitted on me and finally got shitted on, you know, and imagine that, you know, that's what I'm getting here. And it's like, I, I get like you have no, not like you don't have no sympathy, but like, you're like, T you're not speaking on it. Yeah. Avoiding, <laughs> avoiding. This is what you're doing in the next 48 hours. Someone's avoiding you or vice versa. So it's like, maybe this person could have avoided you at one moment in time. I'm seeing that will of fortune energy, but now tables have turned, right? Here we have karma. Yeah, basically tables then turn on that ass. And it says your or their time has come. So for some of you, you could be a cross watcher watching this. If you're a cross watcher for a Libra, watch your ass. Broken promises. Someone has broken or is about to break a promise. Now, for those of you that, you know what I'm saying, you got Libra somewhere else in your chart and you're watching this for yourself, then you're technically not a cross watcher. But, you know, for those of you that are cross watchers, this can apply to you. Okay. Look, smash that like button if you were cross watcher. Here we have Page of Pentacles. So... Uh, there's that offer that's presented and it's kind of small, okay? This is your perception of it. It's small. Yeah, and it's something sneaky about it. With the Seven of Swords energy, what's sneaky is that this person is trying to hide what they did, who they chose, how it worked out. For some of you, you know. You just know already. Yeah, Three of Cups. This person is having judgment now. Because you could, you're, you're coming off as avoiding, okay? So you're not really trying to deal with this person at all. And now they're judging themselves. But the Three of Pentacles here, 
Hmm. This person is trying to see who you dealing with and they're they're temperamental. They have an attitude for sure. Yeah, this person is watching you and they're having a cry for help. Ooh, high priestess, but you know this already. If they're not saying something. They know something and they're not saying something too. That you're probably done with them. Two of Cups, that you're dealing with someone else. Queen of Wands, that they put you in a third party and you know about it. And now you're moving towards a more fulfilling relationship that they have to compete against now. Yeah, you're not giving this person equal give and take. And that's what stands up against them. Queen of Pentacles, it's like you've healed yourself, giving yourself more stability as time has went on. That's what I'm seeing. With the hangman, this person is stuck, perplexed. All they can do is watch you. They want to control you. This is someone that wants to control your actions, right? For their own personal gain. Yeah. There's that will of fortune energy comes out. This person, you know, they realize that what they wanted, they can't have now. And it's almost as if everything is going good for you and... This person is looking back, yeah, with the Ten of Wands. This person is looking back, like, it's like a, it's like something that was meant to take place, that karma energy, right? And it just, divine timing just broke, <laughs> like, broke through. And now is the time. Things are shifting. And it's almost as if this person's perception of it is... They're looking at you and they know they can't offer you anything else because what's done is done. You know, they made their bed, now they have to lay in it. With the Ten of Wands coming out again, we see that burden, right? Page of Pentacles, it's like... They can't stay away. So they come in with the Chariot. But sneakily, because they've done something behind your back, Two of Pentacles juggled you. Mm -hmm. with the strength card the tower and the king of pentacles it's like this is someone could be an earth sign some moon horizon but this was a humbling experience for them i do see that materialistic energy coming out as well with the hangman there is a lot of emotions here this person is in their emotions over the the fact that they did this and they don't like the results of their actions with the knight of pentacles it took this person a long time to want to settle down, but now they do. But it's after the fact. That's what I'm seeing in the next 48 hours. But they decide that this is what they want. That after choosing the wrong thing, now they want to come in and fight for this. But part of them knows that with the Ten of Swords, this person going to come in with yoke on their face. They're going to do something embarrassing that may um embarrass like they may embarrass themselves like they may just come in and like say something to you yeah with the ten of cups like let's just have a baby or something let's get one more yeah three of cups you're gonna just turn this person down like this person may come in and be like they don't care if they gotta be a third party now like to be with you that's what it's looking like yeah with the five of cups they trying to fix something here they trying to you see how this person coming back drinking out that cup this person was toe up off those three cups right there and now they have two cups that they drunk from and they just rejuvenated this person is trying to rekindle something but you're avoiding them you don't want shit to do with them with the star card it's just like you're looking good you're smelling good you're their wish fulfillment now but a cycle has completed here and i feel like the cycle has completed with yourself and with this person yeah with the knight of wands the cycle is completed um as far as you dealing with flighty energy it's like you're flighty now it's like you don't have the time ten of pentacles you're building a legacy knight of cups queen of swords yeah you're cutting this person off you're like look you're blocking them off queen of swords is really telling them about themselves at that when they're coming in trying to give you this offer yeah judgment you're judging this person you're not finna deal with them six of pentacles again i feel like you're focusing on things that 
you can get equal give and take from. That's what I'm seeing with that Six of Pentacles energy. Things that give you the what you're worthy of. Okay? That's what I'm seeing in the next 48 hours for you, Libra. Let's delve forward. See what's going on forward. What's the overall energy? Let's see what fell on the floor. Flow, letting go, natural movement. Okay. Hmm, this is Nine of Pentacles energy for me. Okay. Um, hmm, really more nine, um, nine of Cups. That's what I mean to say with this River Queen. Um, it's saying that you're going to let go in overall energy. You're letting go of this person. You're letting go of the past, things that don't serve you, okay? Natural movement, natural movement forward. You're following your intuition and you're letting go of the things that no longer serve you. It's like you're having this vision, right? Some of you all may be getting a dog soon. Um, here we have the camel boy, small steps, asking for help, 33. This person is going to come to you and they may ask you for something financially. It's, it's something like that. That's tied financial, um, for money, something. Okay. For some type of help. And they'll be like, well, I could pay you back. You know, I'm good for it. You know, it's something like that too. So be weary of that in the next 48 hours. Here we have cycles, growth, natural law, divine order. That's what I'm saying. Like these are things that are happening to you that are in divine order. You moving out of a cycle. You learning these lessons and moving forward, not staying stagnant, okay? Here we have fruitation, abundance, and reaping what you sow. I mean, it's clear as day. And then we have another nine there. That's like that fulfillment energy of wishes. We even have assistance and control. I feel as though you're being very disciplined during this time, yeah, of cycles of growth. I feel like you have a lot more to look forward to, Libra. But in the next 48 hours, expect this person to come in. They're a little temperamental. They may ask you for something financially. But wherever they went, the grass wasn't greener. In fact, it was artificial. I feel like you're going to see these red flags. Just use it as a marker of where you are in your life, moving forward from the old cycles to the new cycles of what you want in your life. So if this message resonated with you, then smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support to this channel. Until then, peace and love.